Hey, Jim Army, I'm on the road again, and I've got another road trip tip for you when you're traveling. Now, I'm back from New Orleans. I'm actually on the road taking one of my daughters to summer camp, so I've got about an eight-hour drive today. Over, I'm looking for some good protein on the road. One of the easiest ways to get quality protein while you're on the road is to stop at a gas station or the rest stop, pick up a bag of beef jerky. However, be advised, you can't just grab any bag of beef jerky. Now my rule for beef jerky is, look, it's beef jerky. It's a protein source. There's no reason to be getting extra sugar from your protein source. So make sure when you flip over your beef jerky and you're taking a look at the nutrition facts panel, that the total carbs are either 50% or less of total protein. This bag here has 11 grams of protein, six grams of carbs. So that one just misses the mark. It's barely, barely just over 50%. Now this beef jerky definitely meets the mark for being under 50% carbs to total protein. This one is only one gram of carbs per nine grams of protein per serving. So this one's almost only 10% carbs. So this brand is definitely the better option, but don't be fooled by beef jerkies that are really disguised as snacks. Not only does this one fail to be 50% or less carbohydrates to the protein content, but this beef jerky actually has 25% more carbs than protein. 25% more carbs than protein. It's not a beef jerky, guys. It's a snack. It's fine for a snack, but don't be eating those types of beef jerky as your high protein snack. So I hope this video helped you guys when it comes to choosing proper beef jerkies for your diet. And as always, stay gym army smart.